entrepreneurs, please approach the vault door for your initial pitch. Despite of having a master's degree in fine arts, Amit was working as a manual labor in an NGO. Now he works in Atulya Kala as a product designer, and his designs and product are sold globally. Atulya Kala is story of many such Amits. Let's give them a chance. Let's unlock the vault. Congratulations, you have successfully unlocked the vault. Step inside for a detailed presentation while we get your products placed. Did that silence surprise you? Well, yes. 18 million people of a country go through this every single day of their life. I am Smriti Nagpal, the founder of Atulya Kala. Atulya Kala is India's first and only lifestyle brand, which is run and managed by deaf artists and designers. The major part of the proceeds go back to the training of the deaf people in our center. My journey started at a very early age. I was born in a family with two elder siblings who are deaf. That made sign language a very integral part of my life. So I actually started signing even before I started speaking. At, at the age of 16, I started interpreting officially and joined the deaf community. Actually, Atulya Kala came into being with a chance meeting upon me and Amit. After meeting him, I realized the amazing pool of deaf artists and designers in India. In 2013, we started off in a very small office in New Delhi. Now we have more than 70 products which are sold in India and Europe. The products include fashion bags, accessories and stationery. In November, we are planning to launch our new product line, which will be a shoe and it will be called Signs. By this, in India, out of 18 million people, only 3% get access to bilingual education. That means sign language education to deaf people. We are trying to solve this problem by our product line. One pair of shoe which will be sold will be able to impact and provide education to one deaf child in India. We have a very beautiful business where we give equal importance to profit and people. I now welcome you to open your vault, be part of our mission and partner in our business. Let's multiply your money and make some people happy. What's your ask? I'm asking for 75 lakh and 5% equity in my company. First of all, congratulations. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much. You know, it's uh, businesses that are profitable, but are also about people and make a social impact very close to my heart. Um, and uh, wonderful to see uh, you're doing something just so interesting and so important. Um, so, so uh, really happy that you're here today. Thank you so much. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about your revenue model? Our current revenues is about 15 lakh per year and we have an average growth rate of 20%, but we are projecting in a best case scenario, it will be 10x and it's going to go to that level. Our major revenues come from, we have a distribution channel that we have tied up with stores across India, plus online stores which we are tied up with. In Denmark, we have a separate store tie up and in Portugal. So major distribution channel comes from the stores as well as the online platforms. Who, who sells that bag? Who sells that bag? Let's say, who's selling that? Who's the invoicing company for that bag? So okay. our brands are tied up with stores and online channels. We don't give our products to any other brand name. It goes under our brand name. Fair enough. Got it. So yeah. you bill, right? You yeah. build a particular yes, store. Yes, yes. Let's take let's an take example. An example. Product. Yeah. Just pull out a product and give okay, it the um, mug in front of you. I'll just take this notebook. Okay, fair, fair enough. enough. Okay, so the this pro notebook is sold at 250 rupees. 250, okay. And what is the cost of you making it? This is 45 rupees. 45. So 250 is the MRP. Inclusive of all the taxes. And uh, yeah. Okay. It's two ninety five actually. Okay. So let's just two ninety five. Forty five rupees kept by the store. No, no, no. no, 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 no cost. Is so, cost. so the stores take it on two ninety five. They subtract thirty percent of commission out of it. Uh, okay. So, so about hundred rupees goes there. Yes. So okay. twenty two ninety five thirty percent is their commission. The rest is our money. So that becomes two hundred rupees. Two hundred rupees. Right. This cost uh, is forty five. Cost is forty five. So you're basically making 150 rupees after the commission deduction. That's yeah, yeah, you're doing that. That's so your company makes 150 rupees on a 45 rupee product. That's very good. A forex is very good. So there's nothing wrong with that. But what made you want to get into the business of providing uh, goods made by people who having a hearing disability? I think I was very much uh, 
disturbed with the whole model that works in India about NGOs and charity. I have been, I was working with NGOs and charity for, I was 16 when I started doing it, I'm 26 now. So it took me like seven to eight years where I was working with them. I used to see them making products, but the real creativity is not coming out. We have started, we gave them a very restricted area to work on that a disabled person can only work as a NGO worker or a back data operator or things like that. But I, dis I, I realized it that they can be amazing photographers, they can be amazing designers. Sure, so very... why not we bring them to all spares of life? I cannot still target them becoming lawyers and doctors because we completely miss that education system in India. Right. But there are a lot of areas where they can excel. I, as much as I love uh, the passion, the emotion and the story behind it, I think there's still a way to go to get a clear business model ahead. Um, so I think I'm going to pass on the team. Okay. I also find what you're doing is very commendable and I always respect people who have taken a passion and there's a story behind it. That's a very critical part of entrepreneurship. I would love to contribute in whatever ways I can on the digital marketing front and help you transform the business model to make it scalable. But from my investment point of view, I would like to pass. What do you say, Mr. Zabi? So I think, uh, you know, I, 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 I like what you're doing. I think it's very, very commendable. Uh, but I think as a business, I'm not very sure how we can uh, come in because as an investor, when I'm investing money, I look at returns, I look at, you know, multiples and things like that. But what I like to do is I will like to take you uh, to a couple of, you know, chains where we can, uh, you know, think of placing your products and have some kind of sourcing arrangement with you, which I think can help you in a big way. Yes, sure. Actually, not very clear with the valuation, to be honest. So I'm just looking at, at it on a very cold way, to the point that you come as a, as a investee who wants investment, and from that perspective, you know, getting a 75 lakh rupees, five percent stake, where you own 100 percent today, and I, I know you put in 10 years and you put in a lot of your savings, I'm sure, but 15 crores is like is a huge amount. We've had. You know, people walk in at one or two crore valuation makes sense to us. We will grow the business, that's for sure. But to me, a 15 crore, for some reason, are you even sure what you're saying? <laughs> I, I, I hope you know what you're saying. Is it 15 crores? To me, to value more than 10, 10x of your current revenues is being very aggressive. I'm going to stick to 10x, ready to give you whatever you want, but the valuation will remain one and a half crores. You decide what percentage you want to give and take. If you give 20%, he will give you 30 lakhs. Is that what you want? Can we settle down for 15%? Sorry? 15%? For? 30 lakhs. If that is a final offer, then I think you guys consider it and let's conclude this. You know, I'm, I'm really sorry to say this, but I'll have to pass this one. But best of luck with your cause. I really appreciate the cause. Like uh, Mr. Sudeep is helping you with all his connections. I belong to real estate industry and I have loads of friends, specifically, uh, let me name it, Select City Walk, which is one of the best malls in Delhi. I'll try my level best to put the, the, the products over there. Thank you. I won't go beyond one and a half crore. Okay, I'll accept your deal for 30 lakh, 20%. Oh, great. great. Super.
थैंक यू थैंक यू ऑल द बेस्ट मिथ थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू थैंक यू I actually accepted the deal because I think the mentorship I'll get from Mr. Rahul is going to help me a lot in the future. So I'm really looking forward to take our products and our brand across India with major stores. I think she doesn't understand the value. Not, not, not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Not even a bit. The value that you bring to the table will be ten times more than what. Absolutely. Well, I'm sure you're gonna make her understand business very well. That I will do. Yeah. But bro, <laughs> uh, respect. That, that I'll do. Oh, respect. Welcome to the vault. a one of its kind platform for promising indian entrepreneurs to impress high profile investors and walk away with money for their startups in the process they also get chances to receive invaluable advice from the vault's in-house business experts and win coveted mentorship programs as well that is if they don't get eliminated in the initial pitch itself